Hey guys, I'm here at the uh, Goodwill now. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go on in. I've kind of gotten addicted to this place since uh, last uh, Sunday. I've been here last Sunday, this past Friday, and now I'm back here on Sunday. So um, I'll be taking you inside and show you around a little bit. I think my main focus is going to be on the weigh and pay area. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I was just here Friday, so I hope they change some new stuff out. So, all right, thanks. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm inside the Goodwill. There's the main retail store, and down there is the uh, outlet where the uh, weigh and pay is. And behind me is the uh, electronic section. Hope you saw that. So I'm going to probably run in here real quick and check the back. And I'm going to hold the closer in the front, so I'll do that later. So, Alright, thanks for watching. Okay, I'm in the shoe area up front here. And the uh, color for today is blue. Okay, we're in the toy section. guys I'm out of the Goodwill finally uh, it's about 10 minutes till 5 I guess I got here around noon so I've been in here about five hours spent about two and a half hours in each side of the store so I'm ready dead tired and ready to go home and I uh, did pretty good I guess it was, I got mainly clothes um, got a couple things in the main store but most of it I got in the uh, uh, way and pace yet, section and uh, I'll show you guys what I got when I get home all right thanks for watching Bye. hi guys this is Nora with one and doing with Willie Five again and uh, I'm here again to show you guys uh, my haul from this past Sunday I showed you the uh, hauls from last Sunday and this past Friday or the previous Sunday I should say I guess and then this past Friday and then uh, went again went again this past Sunday. So I want to show you guys what I got. And I kind of split it up into two sections here. Kind of the good and the bad. So to give you guys an idea of what, um, you know, what to look for and what not to look for. Because I, I took the time to look some of this stuff up now. And um, it's a little bit of uh, each of good and bad, I guess. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go over this stuff with you guys. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this uh, Vera Bradley purse. If you watched my last uh, video, uh, in the weigh and pay section, they, the purses and book bags are $3. And I went ahead and got this Vera Bradley purse. It's in pretty good shape. I mean, um, the handle is about the worst part of it just like it was on the other one uh, well the other one had a uh, black stain on it so it actually was not as good as this one but it's got a nice pocket on the inside and I may be able to sell this one individually I just disclosed that the handles are bad and maybe somebody will want just one it for trading or for, to trade the handle off on it and it's got a nice little uh, button clasp on it so, uh, well, I'm not going to mess with that. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, uh, that was the, uh, I got that in a way and paid for three dollars. I also found this book bag for three dollars. Uh, this one's called Education First, it's EF. And I looked this up and there's not very many online. Um, I'm trying to collect book bags for over the summer so that, uh, I can sell them for the kids that are going back to school. So I just thought that this was a pretty nice bag when I saw it. It's black and white, and it's got one big pocket, and um, then it's got the uh, smaller pocket on the front. I mean, it's just your standard book bag. It's nothing really special about it. So I picked that up. I might be able to get five or ten out of it, maybe when uh, school comes up, and it says it's a uh, uh, limited edition, though. It's got limited edition 2014 on it, so it might sell better. Um, next thing I've got is this Al shirt. This is from uh, XXI um, Graphic Couture, I guess it is. And I thought this was really nice. I may end up wearing this myself. Um, it's got a nice owl on it with the, um, it's not beads, but it's like that um, shiny stuff. It's got a little bit coming off of it though, so I may end up wearing this myself. Uh, but I like it. It's, I thought it was cute. Uh, this is a Victoria's Secret medium uh, pajama top. And I'm pretty sure this one probably had um, pajama bottoms to go with it, but I figure for somebody who might be missing a top or has messed the top up that they might want the match for the pants if they still have them. So uh, this is size, what did I say, medium, I think I said. Yeah, medium. So I went ahead and got this. It's, I know Victoria's Secret is kind of hit and miss. So, uh, it's better on some of the other stuff. Um, but I got, went ahead and got that. Uh, I might try for five or ten, well, I'll try for ten out of that. Um, ten, well, ten to twelve, maybe. This is a Land's End shirt. Yeah, sixteen and a half or thirty-three. Nice big shirt, but it's a nice uh, shirt to put under maybe a suit or something. So, I um, thought that was pretty nice. I get about twelve, fifteen out of that. This is a George Martin Boys Collection shirt. Um, most of this stuff I got in the weigh and pay. Um, I spent about $25 and some change in the weigh and pay. And then I went and spent about $22 in the uh, main store. So it was close to probably about $48, $49, well, close to $50 maybe. So, uh, it's, I mean, I'll probably make, I'll make my money back off this stuff once I get everything listed, but, um, you know, it's not the best haul I've done. I like the other two hauls that I did better, but, uh, this is a nice shirt for Christmas, I thought, for a boy. So, uh, this is a size, uh, extra large, or 18 for a boy, or, I guess. It says boy's collection, so I figure it's for a boy. Big boy. Teenage boy. <laughs> uh, this is a... Uh, I thought for sure this was going to be pretty good, but evidently it's not. <laughs> Heinz Ward from the Pittsburgh Steelers t-shirt. May end up just sleeping in this one, even though I'm not a Steelers fan by any means, but size large. Um, but, I mean, it, I'll put it up, see what I can get out of it. Um, this one... There's another one that I'll probably end up keeping myself. It's the Riders. I think it's Lee, Lee Riders, but it just says Riders. Um, but uh, this is a, uh, it says Instantly Slims You. So this will probably be mine <laughs> since it says Instantly Slims You. Uh, it's a 2XL, but I normally wear an XL, but um, this type of shirt is fitted. I'll probably wear the 2XL, so... I'll probably wear this before I even try to sell it, if I do. And these are DoorDash jeans, size 18. Um, 
they're gray and they're short and I think I could wear these as well so I'm going to uh, go ahead and try to wear these um, pretty much got these for myself I guess but get these little studs on them on the back of the pockets uh, I looked these up they're so 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 you know uh, if I could have got a lot of money out of them I would go ahead and try to sell them but I'm just going to probably keep these myself Um, this t-shirt, I don't know whether this is a Walmart t-shirt or what, I just, I just thought it was cute. It's got uh, a monkey on it, and it says, uh, see no homework, hear no homework, do no homework. thought some kid would probably like that. I might get 12 bucks out of that. I'll put it up for 12 and see if I can get it. If not, it'll go in a yard sale. <laughs> um, this one here is a Gloria Vanderbilt uh, Petite Small. Um, it's got uh, Paris on it. So, um, I probably got this in the main store. This is a E-N or E-N-N-C-Y I think it's supposed to be uh, N-C or NC or something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was a kind of cool looking shirt. The back of it, it's got the NC on the bottom there. Uh, it says NC State of the Union. So I'll put it up for, try to get maybe 14, 15 bucks out of it. See if I can get it. If I can't, then another yard sale. <laughs> um, this is a Chadwick's collection. Uh, size uh, eight, the purple striped, uh, I'll try, I'll put all this stuff online, except for the stuff I said I'll probably keep for myself, this is a red apes, uh, red, or it's red ape, uh, Bermuda type, uh, jean shorts, I thought they were going pretty good, and I just threw them in the, uh, in the basket, and so, but, I'll give them a shot, 12 to 15 bucks maybe. This one, and I just, I run into these shirts all the time, South Pole, and those are kind of hit and miss, I think. Uh, some of them do better than others, uh, so I've gotten this in weigh and pay, and I just threw it in the basket, it was lightweight, so we'll see about that. This is a large, even though I think it's made pretty big, I know for sure that Chip could wear it if I don't sell it, so. Uh, this one is a Talbot's. Now, Talbot's in this area is a pretty high-end or high-end type of store. And I thought these would go better than I thought. These are 14s. And, um, or, this is not shorts. This is a skirt. This is a denim skirt. So it's a so-so item. I mean, it, it's Talbot's brand name. Um. I'll try to put about maybe 14 on them. So here, pretty sure I got this in the way and pay as well. Um, this is a the skirt. Uh, anything that's like a skirt or something, I know I got the way and pay because I don't usually buy that in the main stores. Uh, this is a Supply Company USA uh, Pearl Button Shirt. Or Pearl Snap Shirt, I should say, not button. But, uh... Anytime I run into a pearl snap type shirt, I usually would get it. And I do know this was in weigh and pay as well. And since I had USA on it, I figured it was a made on in USA type item, which I think it is. And I know that usually made in USA is usually goes pretty good, but it didn't look like there was many going online, so we'll see how that does. Now I was surprised at this one. Um, this one's brand spanking new with tags, and I did get this in the way of pay, I know. Um, it's a 3X, or a 3X shirt, and this is a Maggie McNaughton, uh, sweater, layered sweater look, and, um, it's a really pretty royal blue collar, and the original price tag on it, the original retail price was $50, and then it was marked down to $36.99. And 
And I figured I might try to get 30 bucks out of it, which I still might. It just depends, but when I looked her up online, um, all her items were only going for like maybe 20 bucks. So I may put 30 with best offer on it. So we'll see what happens with that. But it's a 3X, so I should get a decent amount with it. But I was disappointed when I saw the pricing on it. Um, this is a, another South Pole shirt, I think. Yeah, South Pole. I tend to do pretty good with t graphic type t-shirts. and But I've never tried South Pole before, so I'm going to try South Pole now. Maybe 12 bucks on that. Um, this one is another so-so all style. I tune, I tune you out. I mean, just a graphic t-shirt. It's cute. Saw one online. I think they had like 12 bucks on it or something. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, it's a large one. So, and the one I saw online was large too. So, we'll see if I can get 12 bucks out of that. And I picked up a few little baby items. I'm going to try to sell out baby stuff too. I haven't tried that yet. This is a cute little onesie. But I've heard that online on eBay that you can't use the word term onesie for some reason. I heard that somewhere. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But uh, I did type it in. Some people have it, but there wasn't very, as many as I thought there would be. So I don't know whether the, what other term to use. But um, if you guys know, I appreciate you letting me know. But uh, I thought that was cute. It has a little cupcake on it. It says baby cakes on it. Um, this is another little onesie thing I got. Uh, it says my mommy is exhausted. <clears throat> Just your basic little brown one. Or little boy in there. Of course, I had to get a red skin onesie. Um, I'm, a, I'm a, in Virginia, so I'm a red skin fan. <laughs> And, uh, so I got that. See how that goes. Alright, now we're going to do the better stack. I know, this one was pretty good. I might be able to get 25 bucks out of this. Um, this is a Fila, um, tennis skirt. And I was surprised at how well they do. Um, I'm not sure how it's supposed to go, but... <laughs> Anyway, it's a Fila skirt. It has a little slit on the side and all that, but it, it's a cute little skirt. And it's easy to ship. I, I like stuff like this because it's easy to ship and has it got a good price on them that look like they're going. But the competition is pretty stiff on it. It's a lot of them. Um, Nike t-shirts. Um, I've, I've sold a few Nike t-shirts. I did pretty good with them. I mean, they're maybe around 15 bucks. So I just knew that these were sellers. This is a 2XL. I'm not sure if it's considered vintage or not. It looks vintage to me, but I'm not sure. Uh, another one I might put about 15 bucks on. This has got the uh, green on the uh, neck and the sleeves. It looks vintage to me as well. Uh, this is a always do well with this type of uh, dry fit type shirts. Uh, this is a uh, star, starter, or not a star, a starter uh, shirt. And uh, this is a, what is it, XL? Uh, yeah, XL. One problem is, is the little tag is coming off the back here. So I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. So if not, if it does, Something I just wear around the house. I don't know if I'd wear it out or not. Um, it's another starter, but this is more of a cotton type material. It's a polyester, I would say, more. I have to look at the material, but it's not the dry fit stuff. Um, this is a, uh, I think this is a 2XL. So. I've always had luck with starter shirts. I don't usually have a problem getting rid of them. Get rid of them around 12 to 15 bucks. I just knew that those were sellers for me. Now this is a genuine Robux uh, XL denim shirt. And uh, these go pretty good. Uh, I might, I think I saw maybe 20, 25, I'm not sure. 
I may start with 25 with best offer or something like that on it. So, you guys see the stack I'm building up here. I have to list all this stuff. <laughs> and I keep putting it off and putting it off. And I need to get the listing. So this week needs to be listing time. Another uh, Under Armour graphic t-shirt I found. 80, 12 to 15. Uh, a Sonic Hedgehog, there's a ton of them on eBay, but this one is different, a little different. I didn't see any that really looked like this one, so uh, I might try about 19.95 or something on it, see if I can get it. Just to see how that does. That's more for a teenager, I think, for a bigger boy. Now these are... Uh, just my size. This is pretty popular for the, the bigger people like me. And I saw one online and I think it sold for $20, $25. I can't remember. I looked it all up last night, but they have it's got a really nice uh, butterfly on the pocket. So uh, we'll see if I can get that out of it. Alright, this pile is going to fall on me, I know it. <laughs> really cool. I, when I saw these in the uh, bin, I knew I was going to get them because I, they just look really cool. And uh, they look, they remind me of the 70s now. These are kind of tall, but uh, the pattern, the material is like a felt or, I don't know, I guess it's felt but, or something like that. Not, but uh, it's not corduroy or anything like that, but it's it's got that feel of felt or whatever to it. But it's patchwork. Um, and I saw one other pair online, and so I might get uh, 25, 30 bucks out of it maybe. Uh, it's a size 10, and it's got this cool brown ribbon for the belt. I really like it a lot. I like them a lot. And if it was something I could wear, I might even wear it, but <laughs> I don't know. It's a little wild for me sometimes. I don't know. If you have a nice brown top with it or something, it'd be really cool looking. Um, but I really do like these a lot. So I may put 30 bucks on those. If I can get more, I'll do it. Now this is pretty nice. This is a, um, Secret Treasures. I'm not sure if it's a Victoria's Secret brand or not. If it is, can y'all let me know? But uh, this is a really nice uh, negligee or nightgown. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it really good, but it's really nice. Feels really nice. There's a little slit on the sides to show your legs off. And the uh, black uh, lace at the bottom there. It's really a nice, uh, pretty gown. Uh, if I put sexy red and nightgown in, I'm sure it'll probably sell. Maybe put about 25, 30 bucks on that. Uh, this is a nice, uh, I was surprised about this is this one. This is a Kathy Daniels brand. And um, I was surprised at the uh, price I could probably get out of this one. Uh, so Kathy Daniels must be a good brand. This is a small one though, so it may not go as good, but it's really nice. It's got the glittery in there, and it's got like the zigzag pattern on it. It's probably more of a Christmas, a closer to Christmas type uh, sweater. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe 25 on that. Oh, I didn't show you guys my ties here. I did get some ties in the main store. Uh, they're all two dollars. Um, this is a Save the Children tie. Now these, if you find these, you can get some money out of these. Um, uh, probably you might be able to get 15 bucks out of them, 20 maybe. Um, but I don't know if they're limited or what. But uh, this this one's called, um, they have the name of, uh, I guess the children make them up make the pictures and they turn them into ties. So, um, Shauna, uh, age 13, and the title of the tie is Harmony. 
And so, uh, but it's a Save the Children ties. That, I guess it's a hospital benefit or something. But uh, these go really good if you ever find any of those. Um, I got a Looney Tunes tie. These are long tail cells. They don't go very fast, but when they do, they're usually decent. My, I, all my ties, I'm gonna, I try to get at least 10 bucks out of them or more because uh, they're easy to ship and cheap. And this one I thought was really, This is another tie I was going to show you guys. It's a uh, Rosales by Piatilli. Piatilli, I don't know if that's Italian or what, but it's a Rosales tie. V A. Or, no, B E R S A I L L E S. And I just thought the pattern on that was really nice. And I think they do go pretty good. I saw I saw very few of them online, though. So I might try to get close to about 20 bucks out of that tie. Because it is a really nice tie. So, And uh, the last thing I'm going to show you guys are these. Um, these are not the best. But um, I got them. It's $2.25 on the tag. And they were blue tags, so I got them half price. They're just dog dishes. I got two of them. And uh, I'll try them for maybe 10 bucks online. If I can't get it, then I'll sell them at the yard sale for about 5 We sold quite a few dog dishes at our last yard sale, so I probably won't have any problems getting rid of these. The, the metal People like the metal ones better than the other ones, so uh, it keeps the water cooler. So... Uh, that's about what I'll probably do with these is maybe put about 10 bucks online on them and plus the shipping and then I'll uh, go ahead and try to sell them at the yard sale if I can't get rid of them. So, okay guys, uh, that was my haul for this past Sunday. I think I showed you guys everything. Um, yeah, so, okay, thanks for watching and I'll be talking to y'all later.